up, guys? Yeah, it's like a struggle reaching over to there to get the camera. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's lock the doors. And I got my keys on me. All right, we're good. Got the rod, got an energy drink, got a camera. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a few days since I've made a video. Reason being is the water's been doing some interesting stuff. Um, I still have been able to pick, you know, maybe one or two shad here and there off, but wanted to make an updated video, a current recent video, and see if I can show the progression of the bite here at the James River in Richmond for the shad. So I'm here at one of the spots, the water level is, ooh, looks good. Water level's better and the water clarity is much better. I can see the bottom from here. Let me set this down right, chill. Yeah. And look at this, this mud right here, this is, this is the stuff that, uh, that gets me. I'm always slipping on this, I was about to say something. This stuff, yeah, the water level looks much better. This rising tide right now, it's about to be high tide, but as y'all can see, I don't know how well y'all can see, but the water clarity is much, much better. So that means hopefully that the shad will be more aggressive and more willing to bite. I don't see why this won't happen, but let me put this down uh, based off of this beautiful, see, what was this? At one point, somebody was like, all right, we're just gonna make this little, uh, what is it? Yes, it's kind of muddy right here because this goes definitely below the water at high tide and it gets real muddy. So I'm gonna go get my boots actually back up there. Let's put you down right there. Stay. Yeah, it look, oh, wow. I think that's the first time I ever put that back down and it didn't roll all the way down the hill. <laughs> nice, I will take it. Let's see, keys for the boots, I mean look, like what, what, what are those? Well, we got the boots ready to go. Grabbing the rod. Now I get to set the camera phone up. Oops, somebody kept a hook right there, we'll pick that up. All right. Nice, now. I walk down this. Don't want to get impaled by one of these barbs. Looking at the camera and walking down this is probably not the smartest thing to do. So let's be careful. Let's be careful. All right, there's the mud. Eh, not too bad. Definitely happy that we have the uh, the boots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, the drag's a little tight today. There we go. So I've been hitting the shad, like I said, not very consistently. There's not an abundance of them, but I've been hitting them on every color. When the water got a little bit nastier, a little bit darker, I switched over to silver and gold. But to be honest, before it got too bad, I was hitting them on, uh, sh shoot, well, uh, pink. And right now I have silver on because I lost the pink to a twig. But silver's fine. We're going with silver. And that's what's gonna make today's shad fishing session a great success. Great success. about 45 minutes now haven't got a single bite so I think I'm gonna change up spots where should I go 
really thinking. Um, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. I know where we're going. What? Oh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, no Spanish. <laughs> there you go. Say, so I hope you don't mind being in a video. Oh, no, no. <laughs> What? No. Oh shit. You want another one? I it, it's up to you. I mean he's dead. He's gonna die. Yeah, it seems like they're kind of picking up a little bit. We're over there. I'll take them over there.
there it is. And my GoPro died. I swear to God, like I, I've lost so many batteries and really it was just like one fishing trip that I took. I lost the majority of them. Like they're like this big. And like I had a whole Ziploc bag full of them. It wasn't like a puppy drum video. I got home, unpacked, and then forgot that I had left that whole bag of them on on a rock or, or I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. That fish that I just hooked, I lost anyway. So the GoPro died at a good time. I guess but I don't know the whole point of this video was to just to show the progression of the bite um, entering more warmer water temperatures um, and everything with the spring really starting to start to move I guess you could say so we got a whole bunch of different fish coming up we got you know in, in salt water and fresh water so we did show hopefully that we were catching some fish today thank goodness I did move down river about a mile over here to Ankara's and I mean, I'm catching like, or at least hooking into a for sure shad, like once every maybe 20 minutes or so. So it's not like it's fire, but like there's definitely some fish out here, which is awesome. You might need to start trying to target some larger stuff. I have been doing that, just haven't been too successful yet. Oh, I know, I haven't been successful at all yet. Uh, but that stuff is kind of a grind, and it's a lot of nighttime stuff, which isn't too great for the GoPro. But we'll see what we can do. Thank you guys for watching. I want to say thank you for everybody who's leaving the positive comments and and showing their support to the channel it really makes a difference thank you like this is what keeps pushing me to push out this content but if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so comments questions whatever put it down below i will see you guys next time i don't know what we're going to be doing next time i don't know what i'm going to be doing next time there's so many changes in the water right now like it's kind of hard to say like i'll be at the river or i'll be uh in the ocean i'll be at the uh, uh, We'll see. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching. Get out there, catch yourself some shad, and I will catch you guys on the next video right here on what we're calling ZB Fishing for right now. All right, guys. Thank you. Later.